Hi and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today we're taking a closer look at the new Revelo Admiral GMT. The first Revelo with the Seiko NH34 GMT mechanical movement. This makes Revelo yet another brand that joins the bandwagon of offering their version of an affordable mechanical GMT. Unlike 90% of the brands out there, instead of taking an easy route of simply taking their Hex Mariner, an already gorgeous watch, and simply adding a GMT function to it, they went the other way, creating a completely new and original design that has absolutely nothing in common with the Hex Mariner. Inspired by the futuristic looking LCS combat ship, the watch is a festival of angles and stealth fighter looking surfaces. Having an all brushed finish on pretty much everything, it gives a very toolish and rugged appearance while over 200 grams of weight on bracelet make it feel like one as well. The bracelet is amazing and fits the design of the watch perfectly. It is massive but comfortable thanks to great articulation due to the 5 link design, while the clasp is a heavy milled out piece of steel with on the fly adjustment, balancing the heavy watch head perfectly. I really can't find a fault in it, well if we're nitpicking maybe if it was less sharp on the underside edges it would be even more comfortable, but like I said it's really me just nitpicking. The bezel is PVD coated steel with a ceramic insert and fully loomed. The grip is excellent, but this example has way too loose action for my taste, making it accidentally turn. Due to the fact it changes resistance at different positions, I'm pretty confident it is an isolated case due to the fact that this is a pre-production prototype, and that regular production ones will have a tighter bezel. The crystal is a flat sapphire and underneath is an original dial configuration with a loomed seconds hand made to mimic a radar display as it goes around. Regular models have a whirlpool effect on the dial representing the ocean, while this one comes with a meteorite dial which makes the base of the hands almost blend with it. Luckily due to the heaps amount of loom on both the markers and hands, the legibility is not compromised while the hands with their angles and a mix of finishes look like small models of the LCS ship that inspired the design. The GMT hand is small and almost unnoticeable, which I usually don't like, but in this case it works, as it doesn't detract from basic time telling. To make for a cleaner dial, the 24 hour markings used for the GMT function are printed on the sloped chapped ring, again not affecting basic time telling. Overall the fit and finish is pretty good, especially considering the specs you get for the price you pay. While the retail price is $370 for regular models and $470 for this meteorite one, they usually offer discounts, getting the prices to the lower part of $300, while those who were lucky enough to join the early bird on Kickstarter got to pay $270, making it truly a bargain. It is a very original take on a GMT watch, built well with a lot of wrist presence, while being wearable even on a small wrist due to relatively short lug to lug of under 49 and the fully articulating end links of the bracelet. So if you're in the market for a micro brand with the Seiko GMT movement, are sick of 689 variants of the Rolex GMT homage and are more in the market for something unique that won't break your wallet, I can highly recommend the Revelo Admiral, and after this model, I can say I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.